music, mother. Hi everyone, so today's video will be a bit different, so normally I mostly work on the weekends on the editing of the videos, but the last two weeks I've been busy making something cool that I want to show you guys, so it will be a bit different, like this video will be a bit more vloggy and I'll just walk around just to show you what I've been building the last few days, weeks, mostly during the weekends. So we're just walking to a new place. I've changed in the workshop, so um, I think it will be pretty interesting for you guys because this is a total new concept in these videos that I've always wanted to do. Um, so we're walking into the new room here and as you might guess, there's a lot of light in here, so I'll try just to shut down. So what does this look like? So we have two lights on the sides, right here and right there, and one on top. So it's right, this is a spray boot, so I've been building this the last two weekends. So there will be some air suction right there. I still have to build an entire wall to um, take all the excess uh, spray dust. And like you can see, I did a little test with the computer. I'll install this later on. So it's a new computer I've ordered. I'll explain you a bit more about that later on. So this will also function as a new light studio. So all the future videos and like uh, project shots will be shot here. So you will recognize this from now on. So Snapchat users have already seen some picture of this the last two weeks. So if you haven't, uh, if you're not following me yet on Snapchat, there should be a link like right here with a picture or else stop the video for two seconds and you can take a screenshot and you can add me on Snapchat. Oh, this new crazy mother. So as you might see, there is still some cable management to do like, I'll just explain you how these section and so on, and so on work. So I got a narrow little thing I can go through here. And then we'll go right to the ends. And then you'll see it. So we have the big machine here and it's very dark here. So it's very difficult to show you. But this will suck out all the uh, spray mist. I'll do with my spray gun, so it's 2K mostly. And then there's a hose attached to it that goes straight through the wall that's into the spray boot. So that's about it, and I'll just show you how it runs. So we get some cables here, and I'll still have to fix all of this. These are the cables. And I'll just power this on. This is for the lights. And then when I'll add the other one, it will start to suck out some air. Okay, so a bit more about the tools now. So I've just bought this. So this will be for, um, how do they call it again? It's airbrush. So I forgot the name. So this will be for airbrush. I bought this for 60 euros at Aldi. And I think most Germans and probably most guys in Europe will know Aldi or Little. I think, it, no, it was Little. So um, I bought it there for 60 euros. And for me, it's more about the compressor. I know the air gun will be crap, probably, but I'll just try it out and maybe I'll buy a new one. But at least I have the compressor right here. So 
The next thing is this is the spray gun. Uh, it's I know it's a cheap one. If you know about more, if you know more about spray paint and so on, just let me know in the comments what gun I should buy or use. So this will be more like a gun for testing if everything works, and then I'll just continue buying some better materials and so on. If I like spray painting, I don't know yet, but probably yes. And I'll just see if I can upgrade my skills and so on so I'll have to to ask some questions in the comments for uh, people who are like very good at this so if you're good at it let me know what pressure I should use um, and so on just to spray paint the carbon fiber parts I make so then we have the last gun so this is the spray gun so I bought this one a while ago on easy composites and this is to spray uh, gel coats. So the easy thing is, uh, you have cups you can just throw away, and you can just yeah, you can just change them. It has a big nozzle, so you're able to spray like thicker materials uh, with this as well. And so just to keep this interesting, I got something to show. So here are four Iron Man masks I did for some, some guys in Abu Dhabi. So if you guys see this, they are on their way pretty soon. So um, it's pretty cool to see like with the lights and so on. Uh, I really think this will work well for uh, the spray painting and so on. So. We'll just go back now to the workshop, so where I am, and I just wanted to say something about the computer. So you might have seen there are some scratches on the sides and the computer, so the computer is not totally new. So I bought it on Kondriat, so it's I think it's a German company as well, and they sell refurbi refurbished uh, computers. So I got this one for 150 euros, so it's pretty cheap. And for me the idea is just to have like my laptop I can take home and so on. And just have this one laying around here, just to be able to do like all the CNC milling with the X-Carve and so on. So I'll just set it up. Uh, I just want to know from you guys, so this is a Windows 7, and I'm thinking about upgrading till the Windows, Windows 10. Should I do it or not? So uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'll just try to set everything up and I'll show you something if interested or if this is interesting at all. So I got the computer up and running, nothing special happened, so it's all set up and so on. Everything works like it should. I've included this part into the video because I'll install some programs later on that will help, help me engineer some molds and so on. That might be interesting for you as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe, it's free, and leave a comment if you need to. I see you guys in the next video.